Hey, welcome to Underkill TV here on a Saturday morning, a windy Saturday morning. The weather's just about holding up. Joined with Paul from Cloven Hoof. Hey, Paul, good you? to see you. Thank you, mate. Yeah, how are you? All right? Yeah, good. I think it was Hard Rock Ella last time we sort of caught up, wasn't it? Could have been, yeah, probably, yeah. Vague, hazy memories of most <laughs> HRH events. I think you've, you've been pretty much around all the rock festivals that have been going on at the moment, yeah, haven't you? All the small to medium ones we love doing, yeah. yeah. We get involved where we can and spread the hoof word and try and support yeah. the bands that are there and um, just keep it real and decent, really, yeah. So what is the connection with rock music and Cloven Hoof from? Because, I mean, you've got Riders Creed, who I'll mention in a minute, and, yeah. you know, like, obviously the main grains and things like that. You're doing all the sort of big... Festivals like the Steel House here is fantastic. What yeah. is the connection with that? Um, well, my two passions in life are, are rum and rock music and heavy metal, and the, the, we combine the, the two really. Um, I had a pub, used to go to lots of festivals, got fed up of drinking corporate branded fake um, pirate rum and uh, Jägermeister and all the corporate shit, so started to import quality rum um, the, and then branded it according to what, what I'm about really and what I'm into, which is rum, rock, metal. Um, and then we just use friends in the industry to spread the word um, and yeah it just happens organically and uh, that's basically it in a, in a nutshell Ali yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the, tell everybody about it. this is the cloven hoof I mean you've got you've got over hoof as well you're in the process is it out yet or yeah, not? I mean well, we tell us a bit so yeah yeah we did our first batch of over hoof back in March um, a limited edition of 666 bottles uh, it's obviously 66.6 percent proof um, over hoof is a play on uh, uh, overproof rum, um, and we sold that first batch within six weeks. So oh. we're going to do um, we're going to do another Second one. Run, like, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then we're going to do a, a golden rum as well called Golden Hoof. So we should have a rum for for all palates: the the classic spiced original, the overhoof, and a, and a and a golden rum. Yeah. So yeah, good stuff. And one thing I meant to ask you, which was really cool, uh, just recently online, the fantastic. Again, I'm going to give them a little plug now. Riders Creed. Anybody who hasn't yeah. seen the band, please go and check them out. They've just written a song about Raise the Hoof, which is about yeah, Cloven Hoof. Absolutely, yeah, I didn't ask the And a cameo appearance in the yeah, video. Yeah, sort of, yeah. So we met Riders Creed at HRH, um, the HRH Awards. They're a proper bunch of lads, true old style rockers yeah. that like a drink, a party. Um, they recorded a new album and un unbeknown to me, wrote a song called Raise the Hoof, uh, which about is, yeah, absolutely, yeah, they drink lots of it and they raise it and party hard and um, wrote a song about it. Um, probably because I kept sending them cases of it but there were no backhanders or dodgy corporate deals involved um yeah and then they did a wicked video um asked me to have a little cameo uh role in it which i, I thoroughly in, enjoyed but actually found quite nerve-wracking to be honest and a bit <laughs> bit awkward at times so what is your role in that? You're like a little oh i'm sort of the cloven one the devil a bit bit naughty some sort of <laughs> mystical boss figure um but yeah that was an absolute uh, laugh and a crack and that 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 song is just a, a good old classic hard british rock tune um that, that endorses everything we're about and our ethos and work, works well with us and the brand and they're spreading the word and raising the hoof and we're doing the same for them and uh, getting their good word about. So, yeah, so check out Riders Creed, definitely, guys, yeah. Excellent stuff. And what's the importance of doing these festivals? I mean, you know, th th this festival is fantastic. It's getting bigger and bigger every year. Uh, it's, it's, it's very important that, you know, they, they sort of support smaller and up-and-coming rather than the corporate brands of things like that, as we said. Yeah, absolutely. You go to some of the bigger festivals and they'll buy all their drinks through, through one supplier and that one supplier will have a relationship with all the big, the big producers. So what they stock behind the bar is your shitty Summersby cider, your, your Carling or Carlsberg, um, and then they go go for a corporate corporate rum with a fake pirate on the bottle or a mystical jelly limp-wristed sea creature, beginning with K. Um, but the smaller festivals, you grow with them, you, you, you build a relationship, you give something back, you don't charge an arm and a leg, so when we're at a festival, we cap the price of a shot and ask the, the organisers to keep the price down, wow. rather than saying five quid for a shot and then three quid for a drop of Red Bull in it. That absolutely sucks. We want to give something back, make a little bit of money, um, tick over. Um, but yeah, we just do things for the right reason rather than to shaft people and make money for, for shareholders. So um, does that answer your question, Ali? It certainly does, Paul. <laughs> and uh, I'd just like to bring in the competition winner yeah. from uh, Underkill TV this year. Yeah, well done, uh, this yeah, is uh, Chris, who won the competition yeah, for VIP tickets for the Steelhouse Festival. Him and his partner, Sean, have won the competition. Paul has very kindly donated a bottle of cloven hoof rum to the, to the winner, so do the honours. Yeah, well done, Chris. We met Chris, actually, at Amplified, another good festival, uh, where he did some serious raising, so it only seems natural that he has won the competition by fair, fair means, and uh, good luck, don't drink it all in one go, and uh, raise the hoof. 
<laughs> That's ironically, because uh, I, was, I was like, do you two know each other? <laughs> he was like, yeah, I've had loads of drinks. And you've, you've drunk this, so tell everybody what it's like then, Clovenhoof from. Oh, it, it's lovely. As soon as you've had a, a, f a few drops of this, you, you, you won't want anything else. Really? Honestly, I, I love it. I find it hasn't quite got the sharp kick as the other stuff. It's quite quite warm and soothing. You know, I mean, I had a bottle off you at Hard Rock Hell, like, and it was, you know, it was really nice, like, you know, and uh, well, I'd enjoyed I, it. I've sampled quite a few uh, cloven hooves in my time now, and uh, it's one of the best rums I've ever tasted, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, I mean, you you said a little suggestion of it with ice, is it? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I love a zombie. Um... The Clovenhoof guys do a drink called a zombie. The zombie? Yeah. Uh, it's lovely. It is amazing. Can you quickly tell us about that then, Paul, the zombie? So a zombie is a dead easy, non-pretentious cocktail. There's no, no shaking and all the, the wanky business that you see um, behind certain bars. Um, it's literally pineapple juice, orange juice, squeeze a lime, squeeze a lemon, and if you've got it, a dash of grenadine, that, and, and our rum punches through it. You can taste the underlying base rum. Um, if you craze it with other rums, you, you could use any off-the-shelf rum, but a zombie, good fun, especially when the sun was out. Uh, don't know where it's gone today, but, um, yeah, classic, easy, non-pretentious cocktail, really. <laughs> but uh, even in this weather, uh, the sun's not, maybe not be out, but it's a warm-up. <laughs> It'll warm you up. I can agree for that one. And anybody, before we go and wrap this up, uh, where's the best place if they want to order anything online or check anything out, the website, is it, or anything like that, Paul? Yeah, go to our website. Our preferred online distributor is 31 Dover. Um, Amazon have got their grubby paws on it, but they make more margin than we do and charge a premium. Um, so, yeah, go to the smaller online vendors. Uh, 31 Dover is, is our preferred preferred one. And, um, yeah, check out our interactive map at clovenhoofrum.com and um, get it listed locally and um, raise the hoof. Raise the hoof indeed. Well, Chris, congratulations on the competition as well. Well done, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend and you really enjoy it. Anybody you're looking forward to seeing? Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing the Wild Arts. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, one of the best bands of my youth. Wow. <laughs> so um, I'm getting on a bit now, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, the Wild Arts, come on, boys, you can do this. Raise the roof, yeah? Uh, for the hoof. <laughs> I, I'm sure da Danny's raised plenty of the hoof, hasn't he, in his time already with the main greens? I would imagine he has, yeah. And Ginger... Well, well, Ginger's got Gin lots of things. <laughs> Ginger's, is it, is it true anything with Ginger? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we're going to do something with, with, with Ginger. That was, we put it on the back burner, but we'd love to make a run with, with Ginger, although the concept is, is quite scary. Um, hopefully we will do that. Um, we need to pull our socks up and uh, crack on with that, really. That's um, a project that's been sidelined, but um, we'd love to, because Ginger is very much a, a, a hoofer at heart, I guess. <laughs> Well, Paul, once again, thanks for everything, and we hope Cheers, to see you at the next festival. And anybody that wants to check out Cloven Hoof Rum and wondered what it was, all the fuss was about, check it out. This is Alistair from Underkill TV with Paul and Chris signing out here. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Cheers.